Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can enhance your SEO reports that you send to potential clients with AI generated audio and video so that you can stand out while boosting engagement. So instead of sending boring reports like this, I'm going to be showing you how you can send audio reports and audio videos that allow you to stand out in front of potential clients. So I'm going to be showing you an example of the video now. And after the video is complete, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I created it. Hey, Jason, it's great to connect with you. I'm really excited to share the SEO audit report and action plan we put together for Plum Call. So let's dive right in. First off, I just want to give you a quick overview of how your website is doing. Right now, your domain authority is sitting at 21 and your page authority is at 25. You're getting about 2,300 visitors a month, which is pretty solid. But there's definitely room for growth, especially when we look at some of those key search terms. For example, you're ranking fifth for emergency plumber Burton on Trent. But, you know, your competitors are pulling ahead. Speaking of competitors, we took a look at a couple of them, local plumbing and fast plumbers Derby. They're pulling in a lot more visitors, with one getting around 6,000 monthly visits and ranking first for those crucial keywords. So it's clear we have some work to do to boost your visibility. Now, moving on to the technical side of things, we didn't find any major crawl errors, which is great. But we did notice that a few pages are a bit slow to load, especially on mobile. That's something we'll want to tackle right away because, you know, people can be pretty impatient when it comes to site speed. On the on-page SEO front, most of your pages have optimized titles and descriptions, which is awesome, but about 30% still need some tweaking. Also, adding a blog could really help in capturing those long-tail keywords and boosting your local traffic. When it comes to backlinks, you currently have about 120, but most come from lower authority sites. Your competitors are way ahead here, so a backlink building campaign could really help you out. We'll want to focus on getting links from local directories and relevant industry blogs. For local SEO, your Google My Business listing is up and running, which is great. However, it looks like you could use a few more reviews. Most competitors have more than 25, so encouraging your customers to leave feedback could really help improve your standing. Now, let's chat about user experience. Your bounce rate is a bit high at 55%, which could mean users aren't finding what they need right away. Simplifying navigation and making your CTAs more visible will definitely improve that. So, here's the plan of action we suggest. 1. Technical improvements. Let's focus on mobile speed optimization and improving your core web vitals. 2. On-page SEO. We need to optimize those titles and create a blog section. Internal linking also needs a boost to guide users better. 3. Off-page SEO. Building high-quality backlinks monthly and analyzing competitor strategies. 4. Local SEO. Let's optimize your Google My Business listing and get consistent local directory listings. 5. User experience. Improving conversion rates by adding clear CTAs and making navigation simpler. To sum it up, we've identified some great opportunities for growth and I'm excited about the potential here. If you're ready to take the next steps or have any questions, I'd love to chat. Just give me a shout and we can set up a time to discuss everything in detail. Thanks for listening, Jason. I look forward to working together and helping Plum Call reach new heights. Take care. Okay, so I agree the audio does need a little bit more work. That was using my own audio, by the way. I actually cloned my own voice. Um, and it was the very first take that I done. And um, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do it. So it all starts off with an SEO report. So you've got your report that you've already created for your potential client. There's no extra steps that you need to do to actually create this audio file. It all comes out of a prompt that we feed the AI with the report that we've created 
for the client. Okay, and then what we need to do is obviously create the audio. And the audio, you have a you have a few options. You can use Eleven Labs, or you can use other um, audio um, um, markets as well that allow you to create audio. Um, the reason I like Eleven Labs is obviously I'm able to cr um, clone my own voice. And at the same time, um, it's got some really nice realistic voices in there if you don't want to use your own voice. So anyway, it's really, really simple. I'm going to take you over to the 11 Labs app and I'm going to show you really, really quickly inside of here. Um, so where you've got this section here known as voices, OK, inside of voices, what you're able to do is you're able to select and look at all of the voices you have in here. And as you can see, I've already cloned my own voice. I've used one out of 10 slots. I've got the starter package, by the way. Um, so it's only cost me five bucks a month. Um, and I created a new voice uh, with my own voice. And then I used this voice uh, to go ahead um, and create that transcript that you saw on that video. And then inside of Camtasia, um, I don't know if I can show you this now because I am actually using it to record. Um, inside of Camtasia, all you have to do is create yourself a new project. I hope this isn't going to interfere with me doing this. Um, create a new project, add your audio in there. Um, and well, in fact, what I did is I just recorded the screen. So I went ahead um, to the actual website here um, and I was just recording the screen. I'm trying to minimize this and I was just recording the screen while the audio was recording. OK, so that was a real simple, easy way for me to stand out and send something valuable to my um, potential client. Um, and you know what? It's, I can send it along with this report. So I'll be sending uh, I'll be sending them over a report with this accompanied with a video um, that's generated by AI that's cloned my own voice. So anyway, once you've cloned your voice, all you have to do is generate the audio track and do exactly what I said uh, with camera. Camtasia. And if you don't want to use that, guys, you can just send it as an audio um, file if you wanted to. And they might not even have the chance to watch your uh, or to read your report. But when they go and you know what, the report might be like jargon to them. Um, but when you take them over um, with the audio file, then it does. You know what? It might resonate with them. Um, so anyway, the way that I do this is I take my report and then I send it over to the AI with a prompt that I'm going to be sharing with you now. Um, many of you guys know that I um, w uh, we've created a software called the Prompt Generator AI that allows you to automate a lot of these tasks. So I'm going to be using this. You don't need to use this at all, guys. But yes, you're able to create the audios inside of here using OpenAI or Eleven Labs. You're able to create podcasts with this software as well, as well as doing many more things as well. But anyway, let me show you that prompt because that's what we're all here for. Um, so e SEO podcast report. So this is actually a two prompt strategy. Um, and what this well, it's a one it's a one prompt strategy to be honest and what it does is it actually saves over um, the output so what I'll do I'll actually share this with you I'm going to um, share this with you below this video as well so that you can see it but I'll quickly read it with you um, so then you can see exactly um, what we're doing. So he's saying, I'm preparing to submit an SEO audit report and plan of action for a potential client. And I need your help creating a script that I can use to record audio. The script should be conversational, relaxed and sound natural, avoiding formal or technical jargon. Use casual phrases, short sentences and filters, sorry, and fillers like um or, you know, to keep it feeling unscripted. Make sure it flows like spoken language rather than written text and feel free to soften the tone with friendly language. At the end, include a summary, a clear call to action and a question that encourages them to reach out. Finish with a sign off that feels warm and professional. And if you wanted to add on to this, you can add your own things like, you know what, leave your contact details at the end of the video um, or a way of how they can reach out to you. OK, and I've just said, please use the following format speaker and then the script goes here. And then I've been feeding it the actual report. OK, so what I'll do, I'll actually go ahead and create this with you now um, in this video, um, just so that you can see exactly how fast and 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 cool this is. So I've actually got this uh, strategy inside of here. And as you can see, I just got to add it my report and inside of the shortcode section, I've already added the exact same report um, that you're seeing here. 
oops, not here, um, the exact same report that you're seeing here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and click on start. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna go ahead and work with the API, and it's gonna use that report and the key actions that we've got inside of that report, which is something that we're gonna already create for our clients anyway. Um, and then it's gonna go ahead and create a transcript from that, which we can then go ahead and use for the actual report. So here's the transcript that is created, guys. Okay, so as you can see down here, it's saying, hey, Jason, it's great to connect with you. I'm excited to chat about the SEO audit. Okay, I did for Plum Call. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now go ahead and use it inside of this here, the TTS. I'm gonna browse for the file, bring it in here. The software's realized there's only one speaker because sometimes you have podcasts and they have three speakers, in which case it's gonna recognize that there's three speakers and we're gonna be able to assign a voice to each one. But without um, making this video sound a little bit confusing, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just work with this one here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a voice from here. We've got female voices, we've got male voices. Uh, and if you have your own voice as well, you're able to pull in your own voice inside of here okay um, I haven't pulled in my own voice yet so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work with one of these males down here we'll say Charlie in fact what we can do is we can go over to 11 labs and we can see how these voice sound so if I come down here and I have a look at Charlie where is Charlie I'm sure that was Charlie down here a minute ago here we go love all trust a few do wrong to Okay, so there's Charlie's voice there. I like Charlie's voice. I'm gonna go ahead and use Charlie's voice because I think his voice sounds better than my voice. For example, um, because you know what, you could actually introduce this by saying, hi, this is Charlie and I work for whatever your SEO agency company name is and just say, I'm gonna be taking you through this SEO audit. Okay, um, so that's something that you can really do really, really quickly. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. In fact, before I do this, I've just realized that I don't have my API key um, inside of here. Well, I need to have a new API key that I need to create. So I'm going to put this on pause, add my API key and we'll come. Okay, fantastic. I've added in my API key. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to load in that transcript. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select 11 labs for this one here. I'm going to use the version 2 turbo and I'm going to select Charlie to actually go ahead and create the voice with. Okay, I'm going to use all the default settings and I'm going to go ahead and click on start. Um, and what's going to happen is this is going to now create and convert that report um, that we sent over the AI and it's created a transcript for us in exactly the same way that you saw in that video. I didn't edit it by, I didn't edit it at all, by the way. And I'm gonna show you this audio that it's just created for us as well. Okay, so I'm gonna click on play and we can listen to the audio, guys. Um, if you're not interested in listening to the audio, then you can forward past this and, and, and come to the end of the video um, and we'll see you there. But um, I'm gonna press play so you can listen to how this sounds as well. Hey, Jason, it's great to connect with you. I'm excited to chat about the SEO audit I did for Plum Call and the action plan I've put together for you. So let's dive right in, shall we? First off, I took a good look at your website. And this here's what I found. What I was doing. Your domain authority is sitting at 21 with a page authority of 25. Not bad, right? You're getting around 2,300 visitors each month, which is awesome. But there's definitely some room to grow. Now, let's talk about those keywords. You're currently ranking for... So anyway, what I'll do, I'll put this on pause. Um, I don't think you want to listen to all of that again, guys. Um, but this is really, really cool because what this allows you to do now is it allows you to create these SEO reports that are going to complement your already existing reports that you're sending to your clients anyway. Um, but it's going to allow them to engage with it in a different way. Maybe they don't have the time to read your reports, in which case they can go ahead and watch your video. Um, and you can maybe even just send them a podcast kind of um, audio file of the actual report. And and you'd be able to take them through that way. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this video, guys. I really hope you can take away some ideas of how you can stand out when you're sending reports to your potential SEO clients.